Indonesian waters for Indonesian fishermen. That's what the government wants to achieve with its strict fishing policies. And these fishermen in Jepara in central Java are liking it. They say they have seen their catch go up since a crackdown on illegal fishing. We are really benefiting from the stricter fishing policies. We have better results than before. This is what the government is doing to stop illegal fishing in its waters. Malaysian, Vietnamese, Filipino, Thai and Chinese boats are blown up after their crews were caught fishing illegally. The Indonesian Minister for Fisheries says the campaign is working. And that trend effect had been very successful, I think. It's making that trend to all the people to not doing it. And I guess that's the biggest part of our success on combating illegal fishing compared to other countries. This is footage Al Jazeera managed to obtain of a Chinese boat that was stopped for fishing illegally in the South China Sea last March. But as Indonesian officials were towing it to port, the Chinese Coast Guard rammed the vessel and took it back. That incident caused a diplomatic dispute between the two nations. The minister estimates around five to 10,000 illegal boats were fishing in Indonesian waters every day, costing the country up to $20 billion a year. Now, most of them stay away. It's 5 a.m. and fresh catch is arriving here at the harbor in Chipara. While statistics show that more fish is being caught now, some fishermen are not happy with the new strict fishing policies. Not only foreign vessels are being targeted. The minister has also set new rules for local fishermen, including banning trawling nets and limiting the size of boats. This is the real situation and not what the minister says. She says she has succeeded. Yes, she has succeeded in making us unemployed and boats grounded. This has to stop quickly. The minister insists the trawlers have to be stopped because they catch small fish, making fish populations vulnerable. Chains are never comfortable. Status quo is always a comfort zone. So they don't want to change something new. What's actually more profitable for them. Environmental groups have criticized the minister's policy of blowing up boats. But the minister insists the operation, which she calls shock therapy, will continue. Stepfasten, Al Jazeera, Central Java.